One celebrity missing from that group is Ben Affleck, who had a prior scheduling conflict, so he couldn't be here for the main event. Scheduling conflict, please. He's standing outside of J-Lo's <laughs> nail salon with $10 of roses. Couldn't make it. That's all we heard. David Plastique with an 8-7 suit is going to go all in again with his 7,400 chips. He cleared his schedule to be here. I'm with him. <laughs> Scott Fishman now, ace king. Can you count it? 7,400. I'm guessing. Though. Asking for a count. Uh, Scott wants to see what percentage of his chips he would have to put in to match the all-in. It would be about one quarter of his stack. He has 30,000. I know Scott likes ace king. Most of the time you want to go heads up with ace king if you can. And Scott Fishman will call. And now the action moves around the table. Everybody folds over to Doyle Brunson. Yikes. He'll like that. Yeah, well, this is going to be more than heads up then for Scott Fishman. Doyle and Scott Fishman have tangled a few times already today, so Doyle may have a pretty good read on Scott. Plastique and interested observer also. And I'm all in. And Doyle Brunson's going to use his muscle, go all in. He's got the most chips on the table. Plastique is already all in. So now Doyle, for the second time today, is going to put Scott Fishman all in. Fishman declined last time. I wish I would have done that. <laughs> well, it's another tough decision for Scott. He doesn't mind going all in against one guy, but a guy in front of him went all in. The guy behind him went all in. And the guy behind him, Doyle, has been treating Fishman like his personal boy Friday all day. <sighs> Got to make me sweat. Plastique knows he's in trouble. The only hands that would really bother Fishman would be pocket aces or kings, and Brunson has the kings. And Scott Fishman is going to make the play. Oh, f I got no, I got no chance. <laughs> Plastique running third in a two-horse field here. It feels like it to him. I got ace king. Uh, see, I like. I need to get real lucky. Real lucky. Well, Doyle now with the chance to take out two for the price of one. Fishman and Plastique both all in and behind. And Doyle okay, sits on the game. throne the and waits. Oh, there's so much money in the pot. I was hoping he had, I was hoping he had queens. And now the flop. Jack 3-2 does not, not help. Run, run, run. Plastique knows he needs clubs. Fishman knows it's looking grim. And Doyle knows he's got a stranglehold on this baby. And now the turn card. Uh, queen of clubs, and that gives David Plastique some life. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, another club would save Running David club. Plastique. And Fishman needs an ace or a 10 for a straight, and he would be saved. With two bracelets already, Scott Fishman's had an amazing World Series, but his run might be over now. Doyle Brunson could knock out two players if he wins this hand. And it is a seven of hearts, and he oh, does man. just that. Nice hand, Doyle. Thank you. Jesus. Scott Fishman and David Plastic eliminated from the main event by Texas Dolly, like Doyle Brunson. Time. Good work. He's a good player. I'll tell you. He's taking them out one by one at this table. Is, Doyle everything. Brunson feeling very no, comfortable, up around 100,000 chips. I didn't know if I wanted him to call it or not. No, I thought that's probably about what he had. Action over to Mike the Mouth, Mattisau. He's got a 9-7 suited with spades. I raise. And he'll raise to 12,000. Over to Fossil Man. He is in the small blind. Ace Jack, two diamonds. And he'll put in 36,000, a raise from Raymer. Call. Mattisau will make the call, will go to the flop. 10 9 3, a pair of nines now for Mike. All in. Raymer acting decisively and aggressively again, going all in on just a draw. He's got the nut flush draw. He had two over cards against the pair of nines. Count that. And Mattisau apparently considering risking most of his chips with a pair of nines. And these two dancing again, and they've had a lot of frays between each other. About 230,000, huh? Well, if I'm right, I'm a chip leader. If I'm wrong, I'm hurting. Mike, you always had faith in your reads, buddy. You always had faith in your reads. Don't let your reads let you down one time this time. Please don't let it be wrong. If Mattisau calls, Raymer's tournament life is at stake here. 230,000, right? 241,000. <laughs> How much? 241,000. Just that? That's it? Have I counted it right? I told you I was going to bust you. 
But he came after me, didn't I? Don't let me be wrong, God. Call. Mike the Mouth will risk about two-thirds of his chips to try to Don't knock out Raymer. Come on, God. No diamond, baby. Don't let me get unlucky! Blank time, baby! Blank on a turn, dealer. Do blank! Turn card two of diamonds, and that gives Greg Raymer the winning flush. Yes! How satisfying it must be for Raymer. I play to win, baby. I play to win. You gotta get 26 million in chips, I play to win. And that rips the heart out of Mike Mattisau, not to mention two-thirds of his chips going to Raymer. You know why I called him before the flop? Because I knew what he had before the flop. Thank you for busting me, Mike. But I knew he had nothing. He didn't have exactly nothing. He actually did have a draw. Don't make a difference. Right? It's going to be more hard work to get the money. You don't understand. I go with my... I know what's going on. See, not many people have enough to put it all in that much chips right there against a big stack. David Williams, only 23, but he has been playing poker for seven years. He's been getting some help here at the World Series from a fellow player, that being Marcel Luce. They had a common friend in Holland, put them together, and Marcel's been tutoring him. You're in the analyzing business, aren't you? Psychiatrist. Yeah. You analyze this? Analyze this. Analyze yeah. this. <laughs> I have to analyze it myself sometimes. I wonder if there's a copay for I analyzing your own cards. <laughs> Marcel's got King Jack unsuited. Two bets. One for me and one for the Sharks. And Marcel will bet 32,000 chips with the blinds at 8 and 16,000 now. And now trying to induce Julian Gardner to put all his chips in. Make it look like a wave. You said you'd only raise with aces. So. But I might lie. <laughs> I had to deal with myself after the break. I'm going to take all the chips from the table. <laughs> and I have no doubts about it. All of it. I'm going to take the sweet stack, the nice stack, the blue stack, the yellow stack, the colors who are not even there, I'm going to take them. Lon, if you're going to get beat, you want to get beat by someone like Marcel. It would be a pleasure to give him my chips. Now the two queens of Harry Dimitriou. How much is it? I mean, how much is it? 32,000. 32. 32. Don't be cheeky. Put something in there. Marcel and Harry, friendly rivals from many games in Europe. I'll raise. Yes, raise it. How much? Harry seems to have learned to be able to tune out Marcel and make the right decisions. 100? 100,000 more. With what? With what? This guy would raise 100,000. With a better hand than yours, Marcel. <coughs> Marcel will call the 100 grand. Call the 100,000. And a check blind. Checking blinds, a nice change it up strategy. It often confuses or upsets your opponent. Now the flop comes King 3 3, Marcel with a pair of kings. And remember, he had checked before the flop came out, and Dimitriu checks behind him. Now the turn card, the eight of hearts, means only that Dimitriu is running out of chances. Marcel looks like he's going to act. I don't trust him. <laughs> hey, look in the mirror, pal. You don't trust him. <laughs> well, Harry's going to come back, it looks like. Harry Dimitriou puts out 225,000 chips. 225? I still don't trust him. This would be a big decision for Marcel. To call it would leave him with less than 200,000 chips. Cool. And Marcel's going to call it. Got a big pot here at the feature table. Now remember the song. Give a little bit, <laughs> give a little bit of your chips to me. When Marcel stands up and goes a cappella, he's convinced his read on this hand is correct, that his kings are best. And now the river card is a nine, and once again, Marcel's read was perfect. The check mark shows he's got the hand one if he doesn't fold. Just in case I'm scared he's not going to bet it. I bet a little bit. Well, even a little bit will be almost the remaining chips for Marcel, no matter how much he chooses. I bet the 100,000. I'm sure he calculated that with Keynesian and Malthusian theory. Now to Harry. And he makes I the call. King! And loses the hand. Good hand. King! Yes, sir! Queen, sir! How did I know? Om, om, om. 
I made them. Uh, give it to me. Don't give it to everybody. Give it to me. <laughs> Harry lost about half his stack oh, on that hand. Oh, oh. Has anybody ever told you you're crazy? <laughs> Oh, there's a doctor in the house. Maybe he could use a professional opinion. I think he needs serious psychotherapy. And ace-queen unsuited. Saw him with a couple of king-queens unsuited he had to look at. Now the ace-queen he will consider. Fly fishermen are patient, if nothing else. <laughs> That's, right. That's a good point, Lon. It really translates well to you. And he will raise to 45,000. Borer folds, as does Hilker. The rest of the table folds over to Mike Matisau. He's got a king, ace, unsuited. Matisau, just over 100,000 chips. I'm all in. And he's going to push them all in with his ace king. So the master of the short stack is going to put his tournament life at risk right now. Action to Raymer now. He would love to take Mike Mattis out down, but he is going to fold his cards. What you got, Mike, approximately? 110 altogether. Same as me, huh? Oh, All right, I've got a bit of Oh, cool. And Ed Foster will take the oh. challenge and try to knock Ooh. Mike Mattis out. And Mike Mattis out in a terrific position. Come on, one time, let me get lucky. Let me hold up the best hand one time. A three to one favorite as we go to the flop. One time, baby. Foster and Madison okay. out of the flop. Oh like Eight, Keep seven, five, no help for either. Madison now a bigger advantage. Keep him red. Keep the clubs coming. <laughs> Turn Keep card, blank, seven of hearts. Blank, deuce. And deuce. now on the river, deuce. only a queen deuce. would knock Madison out of the main event. It is a queen. No! 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 Ed Foster has knocked Matisau out of this tournament. Why do I get deserve this? <laughs> a catastrophic hit to Mike Matisau, who never shies away from showing his emotions. This game is brutal for, for people, man. He's going to take that f***ing bad thing. And before it's over, you might end up with something like oh, that. Yeah. So, you know, you got to be able to take it both ways. I mean. No Mike Matisau blow up on that final hand, just plain bad luck. She was call I made on the guy earlier. Yeah. I played the best poker in my life, man. Mike was going broke no matter what. This is, this is brutal as it gets right here. Why do I have to choose this for a living? I gotta be the okay, sickest man. person in the whole entire universe. Oh boy, I thought this was my year. Damn. How does that happen to somebody? Oh well. I ain't playing a nickel and dime, I'm playing to win. I'm happy, I'll be fine. Contrasting styles between these two. Raymer has been the more aggressive player. Williams much tighter, and they both made it work. Now David Williams with an ace four off suit, and he will come out with 300,000 chips. Greg Raymer, first look at his hole cards, two eights. You always love a pocket pair and heads up. Raymer has a lot of chips to choose from, <laughs> and he will make the call only. Raymer with a two to one advantage going to the flop. It comes out four, two, five. David Williams pairs his four, but he still trails Raymer's eights. Williams does pick up an inside straight draw. Raymer checks, and David Williams bets 500,000. He likes his hand. Middle pair, straight draw with the ace. 1.6. And Greg Raymer likes his hand even more. Great read from Fossil Man. He will raise 1.6 million, and he's got the best hand right now. David Williams already reaching for chips. We have seen him work so quickly throughout this tournament, and here he is making the call right away. Williams sees low cards on the board, figure they would not help Raymer. What he doesn't figure is that Raymer does have a high pocket pair. Shirley Williams in her most anxious moment of the whole tournament. Same could be said for Cheryl Raymer. Fossil Man looks at that board and figures the only thing that could worry him is a higher pocket pair for Williams, and he doesn't think he has it. And now the turn card. It's a two, which pairs the board. 
Williams keeps improving his hand, and that's very dangerous because he still trails Greg Raymer. Two and a half. Raymer bets two and a half million. And immediately David Williams calls. Talk about being pot committed. Williams has put a boatload of chips in. In fact, he's put in 40% of his stack into this pot. What a long way David Williams has come to be at this point of the tournament. With 17 players left, he had under 200,000 chips. Raymer had that on day two. Williams, a four to one underdog as we go to the river. He can still come up with the best hand if he gets a four for a full house. A three would give him a straight. An ace would give him aces up. River card, another two. Now both players have full houses. Raymer has the better full house. He can only lose if he folds. All in. And he's all in. And that would put David Williams all in. And if David Williams calls, it's all over. Greg Raymer would be the champion. Call. And Williams will call. The cards are turned. Raymer wins it all. Yeah! Raymer has bested the biggest tournament field in poker history. He wins the $5 million and is the 2004 World Series of Poker Champion. <laughs> David Williams takes three and a half million dollars for second place. The new era of poker continues. Two years ago, an amateur, Robert Varconi won. Last year, an online amateur, Chris Moneymaker won. And this year, another online qualifier, Greg Raymer. Shirley Williams could not be prouder of her son. She was there for every hand. Greg Raymer went against many themes of this year's World Series. He's not a brash young gun at his first World Series. He is a confident part-time player who played the best poker of his life.